Hey everybody, welcome back to another Making Stuff video. Today I want to make this low profile drill press vise from scratch, so let's get started. But first I'd like to mention that Making Stuff and Empire Abrasives have teamed up so that you can get 10% off your first order. Check them out for all of your abrasive needs at empireabrasives.com. So for the best price, highest quality abrasives, go to empireabrasives.com and be sure to use the code MAKINGSTUFF to get 10% off your first order. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a problem here. As you can see, I've had to cut this nut off of this block with a cutting disc on the angle grinder, and that is because when I welded this block onto the base, I did one long continuous weld here, and I think I got a little bit too much heat into the nut that I had welded on here, and that screwed up the threads. And of course, stupid me tried to force this piece of all thread through there to try and maybe clean up the threads a little bit and it just made it worse and it got jammed in there so i had to cut the nut off of the block and of course i had to cut the all thread with it so i have lost this piece here it's not supposed to be two pieces and so what i'm going to do is weld another nut back on here and I've got this surface cleaned and it is flat. I did this on the 2x72 belt grinder. So I'm going to weld the nut on here and then I can run another piece of all thread through there. I'm gonna to have to do that through the lathe as well. And I guess the only advantage is I can clean this up a little bit 
and the issue that I have there is as you can see I cut this little gap right here a little too wide so there was a little bit of a backlash um, on this this is one of the jaws of the vise and when you would back up or go forward there was a little bit of a backlash in there because it wasn't really meeting up with that set screw so I can fix that on my second piece but now I need to run to the store and go get another piece of all thread and just like that I've gone to the store and back I've got my new piece of all thread here so I'm going to do this off camera you've already watched me do it once and there's no sense doing it again and I will be back in just a matter of seconds for you guys with my new piece of all thread and this new nut welded onto the block okay so that wasn't too bad it was just a little 20 minute detour there but I've got it all fixed and I'm back on track I did when I welded this nut I did each opposite side of the nut so I didn't put too much heat into it all at once and now I can spin this and you can see this jaw right here of the vise. Everything moves freely. Nothing's binding up here in the nut or on these threads. So I am ready to continue working on this project. So that's it for this project. I'm really happy with the way it turned out and I know I'm going to be able to use that vise out here in the shop. The only thing I'm really not too sure of is whether I should slap a coat of paint on it or not. So why don't you guys let me know what you would do and let me know down in the comments below. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me that big thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss any upcoming making stuff videos. And thanks for watching.